Every year, the Carlsberg Foundation awards two prizes to researchers who have made crucial contributions to basic research. The Carlsberg Foundation Research Prizes are awarded on the recommendation of the Royal Danish Academy of Sciences and Letters. In 2018, Professor of Protein Biochemistry Paul Nissen from Aarhus University receives the prize for his groundbreaking research in structural biology. Structural biology is really about understanding and investigating and describing the molecules of life in three dimensions. So, and at a very detailed level, at the level of atoms, interactions of molecules, their changes in structure, understanding how they work, and from there also derive their mechanism and their interactions and networks in the cell. And from this point, try to understand how a cell works. And like that, also organisms work. Structural biology started in the 1940s with X-ray crystallography that was later used to investigate large molecules like proteins. Understanding them at a detailed atomic level gave researchers a completely new insight to what molecular biology really is. The structural biology comes in when we know that there are molecules that somehow interact, or you could say genes that we know are involved in a very important process or a disease or important for an organism to do a certain thing. Uh, then we try to figure out how do these molecules actually look like? How do they work? How can we maybe even regulate them with, that could be drugs, for example, or other ways of, of regulating their activity that we could be interested in in medicine and biotechnology. So it's both basic knowledge and it's applied knowledge. And the really great challenge is here that we are looking at people's brain and, or rather, we are not looking at people's brain because, because we can't take people's brains out. We can't take biopsies from brains. So we need to really understand the molecular networks very well and, 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 and try to do our very best to understand the interaction networks between molecules in brains, which are extremely intimate and very complex, to try and find then the best possible ways of up and down regulating activities that are offset in a pathological condition. And this is something we can try to offer, a molecular diagnosis, so to say. Today, there are many diseases we cannot do anything about. For example, neurodegenerative disorders like dementias. And it is a growing challenge with the increasingly aging population. This is a major challenge to modern society, where we are currently left with very, very few, if any, efficient drugs. So there we have a major challenge for the future. And this is something where structural biology will be an extremely important component in trying to figure out how to deal with these problems in the future. And it certainly makes it very clear to me that I really want to also contribute in the future with the very best we can from receiving the Carlsberg Foundation Research Prize. So it's a great honor. I am very grateful.